Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the section Addition and Subtraction. There was a homework. Let us check the answer at first. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is 1.5 meters and another side is half meter. Calculate its perimeter correct to a centimeter. Let us draw a right angle triangle at first. The hypotenuse is 1.5 meters and another side is half meter. Let it be the base. Now let us give a name for this triangle. Let it be ABC. We have to find the perimeter of this triangle. Perimeter of a triangle is the sum of the three sides. Here we don't know the length of AB. So let us find AB at first. We know altitude square equal to hypotenuse square minus base square. Therefore, AB square equal to AC square minus BC square. AC is one and half and BC is half. So we can write this as one and half square minus half square. We know A square minus B square is equal to A plus B into A minus B. Therefore, one and half square minus half square equal to one and half plus half into one and half minus half. One and half plus half is two. One and half minus half is one. So this can be written as 2 into 1 and that is equal to 2. AB square is 2. Therefore, AB equal to root of 2. That means the length of AB is root 2 meters. Now we have got all the three sides of this triangle. Let us find the perimeter now. Perimeter of this triangle is AB plus BC plus AC. AB is root 2 meters, BC is half meters and AC is 1.5 meters. Replacing the values we can write root 2 plus half plus 1.5. Half plus 1.5 is 2. So this can be written as 2 plus root 2. Now we need to find the perimeter corrected to a centimeter. That means we have to find the perimeter corrected to two decimal places. So let us give the value of root 2 here. The approximate value of root 2 is 1.41. So the approximate value of perimeter can be written as 2 plus 1.41 and that is equal to 3.14. That is the perimeter of this triangle is approximately equal to 3.14 meters. Now let us do the remaining problems on page 52. The picture shows an equilateral triangle cut into halves by a line through a vertex. What is the perimeter of a part? How much less than the perimeter of the whole triangle is this? Given that this is an equilateral triangle, these two sides are 2 meters, therefore this side is also 2 meters. And given that it is cut into two halves, therefore this length is 1 meter. Let us give a name for this small triangle. Let it be ABC. Now to find the perimeter of this small triangle, we need to find the length of BC also. We know altitude is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus base square. Therefore, BC equal to root of AC square minus AB square. AC is 2 and AB is 1. So this can be written as root of 2 square minus 1 square. 2 square is 4 and 1 square is 1. So this can be written as root of 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Therefore, BC equal to root 3 meters. Now we got all the three sides of the small triangle ABC. Let us find the perimeter of this small triangle or one part. That is AB plus BC plus AC. AB is 1 meter, BC is root 3 meter and AC is 2 meter. So this can be written as 1 plus root 3 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So this can be written as 3 plus root 3. That means perimeter of one part or one small triangle is 3 plus root 3 meters. Now if you need the approximate value, you can give the value of root 3. That is we know root 3 is approximately equal to 1.732. Therefore, perimeter of one part is approximately equal to 3 plus 1.732. That is equal to 4.732. That means the perimeter of this small triangle is approximately equal to 4.732.
4.732 meters. Now we have to find how much less than the perimeter of the large triangle is this perimeter. For that let us find the perimeter of the large triangle. Given that it is an equilateral triangle and all the sides are 2 meters. Therefore perimeter equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 and that is equal to 6 meters. That is the perimeter of the large triangle is 6 meters. And we have already obtained the perimeter of one part is 3 plus root 3 meters. Let us find the difference between them. That is 6 minus 3 plus root 3. Let us remove the bracket. Minus should be given to both terms within the bracket. So this can be written as 6 minus 3 minus root 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. So this can be written as 3 minus root 3. That is the difference between the perimeters is 3 minus root 3 meters or the perimeter of the small triangle or one part is less than the perimeter of the large triangle by 3 minus root 3 meters. Now if you need the approximate value you can give the approximate value of root 3 here that is approximately equal to 3 minus 1.732. And that is equal to 1.268 meters. That means the perimeter of one part is approximately less than the perimeter of the large triangle by 1.268 meters. Next problem. Calculate the perimeter of the triangle shown below. This length is 2 meters and this angle is 30 degree. And this angle is 105 degree. Let us draw a perpendicular from this vertex to this side, like this. Since it is a perpendicular, this angle is 90 degree. The sum of all the three angles in a triangle is 180 degree. If this angle is 90 degree, then sum of these two angles is 90 degree. Since this angle is 30 degree, this angle must be 60 degree. Now remember the triangle which we have seen in the last problem. An equilateral triangle with side 2 meters. It is divided into two equal parts. This is an angle in the equilateral triangle, therefore it is 60 degree. This angle is 90 degree, therefore this angle is 30 degree. So the same triangle is here. One side is 2 meters and the angles at the end are 30 degree and 60 degree. Therefore the length of the sides are also equal. We have seen that this side was 1 meter and this side was root 3 meters. That is the side opposite to 30 degree angle is 1 meter. Therefore this side is 1 meter. The side opposite to 60 degree angle is root 3 meter. Therefore this side is root 3 meters. Now this total angle is 105 degree. This angle is 60 degree. Therefore this angle is 45 degree. We know this angle is 90 degree. Therefore, sum of these two angles must be 90 degree. That means this angle is 45 degree. These two angles are equal. That means this is an isosceles triangle. The sides opposite to equal angles are equal. That means these two sides are equal. Since this side is 1 meter, this is also equal to 1 meter. Now this is a right angle triangle with perpendicular sides 1 meter. Then we have seen the hypotenuse is root 2 meters. Now we have got all the three sides of this triangle. Let us find the perimeter. This side is 2 meters. This side is root 2 meters. This side is root 3 plus 1 meter. Therefore perimeter equal to 2 plus root 2 plus root 3 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this can be written as 3 plus root 2 plus root 3. That is the perimeter of this triangle is 3 plus root 2 plus root 3 meters. Now if the approximate value is needed, we can give the approximate value of root 2 and root 3. So this is approximately equal to 3 plus 1.414 plus 1.732. Adding together we get 6.146. That is the perimeter of this triangle is approximately equal to 6.146 meters. Another problem. We have seen how we can draw a series of right triangles as in the picture. 
what are the lengths of the sides of the 10th triangle drawn like this how much more is the perimeter of the 10th triangle than the perimeter of the 9th triangle how do we write in algebra the difference in perimeter of the nth triangle and that of the triangle just before it we have seen figure like this earlier in each of these right angle triangles one side is 1 meter let us look at the other sides first of all let us look at the first triangle this side was 1 meter and we have seen that the hypotenuse is root 2 meters that means the sides of the first triangle are 1 1 and root 2 now look at the second triangle one side is root 2 meters another side is 1 meter what is the hypotenuse it is root 3 meters so the sides of the second triangle are root 2 1 and root 3 now look at the third triangle let us consider this as the base then base is root 3 meters height is 1 meter what is the hypotenuse it is root 4 meters therefore the sides of the third triangle are root 3 1 and root 4 now look at the fourth triangle the base is root 4 meters altitude is 1 meter what is the hypotenuse it's root 5 meters so the sides of the fourth triangle are root 4 1 and root 5 now look at the sides these are all bases of these triangles these are altitudes and these are hypotenuse we can see that the altitudes are always equal to 1 look at the bases for the first triangle it is 1 we know 1 equal to root of 1 so it can be considered as root 1 so we can say the base of the first triangle is root 1 base of the second triangle is root 2 base of the third triangle is root 3 and base of the fourth triangle is root 4 then what is the base of the fifth triangle it's root 5 what is the base of the sixth triangle it is root 6 what is the base of the nth triangle it is root n now the altitude is 1 for all the triangles now look at the hypotenuse hypotenuse of the first triangle is root 2 Hypotenuse of the second triangle is root 3. Hypotenuse of the third triangle is root 4. Hypotenuse of the fourth triangle is root 5. What is the hypotenuse of the fifth triangle? It is root 6. What is the hypotenuse of the sixth triangle? It is root 7. Then, what is the hypotenuse of the nth triangle? It is root of n plus 1. Now, can you tell me what are the sides of the ninth triangle? The base is root 9, altitude is 1, and hypotenuse is root 10. What are the sides of the 10th triangle? Base is root 10, altitude is 1, and hypotenuse is root 11. Now, let us do our problem. First part, what are the lengths of the sides of the 10th triangle drawn like this? We have seen that the base of the 10th triangle is root 10, Altitude is 1 and hypotenuse is root 11. Second part, how much more is the perimeter of the 10th triangle than the perimeter of the 9th triangle? So, we have to find the perimeter of the 10th triangle and 9th triangle. So, let us find the perimeter of this triangle. Perimeter equal to sum of the sides that is root 10 plus 1 plus root 11. Let me write the integer at first. So, we can say the perimeter of the 10th triangle equal to 1 plus root 10 plus root 11. Now, what are the sides of the 9th triangle? The base is root 9, altitude is 1 and hypotenuse is root 10. Now, let us find the perimeter that is equal to 1 plus root 9 plus root 10. Now, let us find the difference between the perimeters that is 1 plus root 10 plus root 11 minus 1 plus root 9 plus root 10. Let us remove the bracket. This can be written as it is. But this minus should be given to each and every term within the bracket. So that is 1 plus root 10 plus root 11 minus 1 minus root 9 minus root 10. 1 minus 1 is 0. Root 10 minus root 10 is also 0. What remains now? 
root 11 minus root 9. Root 9 is 3. So you can write it as root 11 minus 3. That means the perimeter of the 10th triangle is root 11 minus 3 meters more than the perimeter of the 9th triangle. Now let us look at the third part. How do we write in algebra the difference in perimeter of nth triangle and that of the triangle just before it? That means we have to find the difference in perimeters of nth triangle and n minus 1th triangle. What are the sides of the nth triangle? The base is root n, altitude is 1 and hypotenuse is root of n plus 1. What is the perimeter of nth triangle? 1 plus root n plus root of n plus 1. Now, what are the sides of the n minus 1th triangle? The base is root n minus 1, altitude is 1 and hypotenuse is n. Now, what is the perimeter of this triangle? 1 plus root n minus 1 plus root n. Now, let us find the difference between the perimeters. That is 1 plus root n plus root n plus 1 minus 1 plus root n minus 1 plus root n. Let us remove the bracket. Then we can write it as 1 plus root n plus root n plus 1 minus 1 minus root n minus 1 minus root n. 1 minus 1 is 0. Root n minus root n is 0. What remains now? Root of n plus 1 minus root of n minus 1. Therefore, the difference of the perimeters of nth triangle and n minus 1th triangle is root of n plus 1 minus root of n minus 1. Today, we have discussed problems on page 52. Now, there is a homework. What is the hypotenuse of the right triangle with perpendicular sides root 2 centimeters and root 3 centimeters? How much larger than the hypotenuse is the sum of the perpendicular sides? In the next video, we shall discuss the next part. Till then, bye.